You want to know if you need a box spring. <laughs> it's a great question, but one that can be surprisingly difficult to answer. Some experts say you definitely do, while others say you definitely don't. Helpful, right? Well, folks, we are here to end the debate once and for all. I'm going to describe what a box spring is, tell you if you need one, and answer some of the most frequently asked questions we get about box springs here at Sleepopolis. Speaking of which, remember that you can always go to sleepopolis.com for full guides to the best box springs and best bed frames to buy online. Okay, so first things first, what in the world is a box spring? Well, a box spring is a traditional bed base made of a wood frame that's covered in fabric and filled with springs. It typically sits between a mattress and either the floor or a bed frame. And in most cases, a box spring has three main jobs. Number one, to increase the height of a mattress, making it easier to get in of and out of bed. Number two, to absorb some of the motion transfer and shock caused by movement across the mattress. And number three, to create a flat, supportive, and firm structure for the mattress to lie upon. It's important to note that the mattresses of yore were much thinner than they are today, so a box spring was essential for creating a functional and practical sleep environment. In fact, for decades the term bed referred to a mattress and box spring together, so you wouldn't ever buy one without the other. But that isn't always the case anymore, thanks in large part to how far we've come in terms of mattress design. You know, whereas box springs once constituted the major support system for a mattress, nowadays most mattresses have that support system built right into their own constructions. So how do you know when you need a box spring? Well, allow me to explain. Whether or not you need a box spring depends almost exclusively on the type of bed frame you're using. As mattresses have gotten more advanced and diversified, so too have bed frames. Back in the olden days, most bed frames were just that. Frames that held the box spring, which then held the mattress. But today, there are many different types of bed frames, all with different box spring needs. Now, I'm going to go over some of the most popular ones and tell you if they need a box spring. Okay, so number one, a collapsible metal frame. Built with a simple metal frame and no internal support slats, this type of frame does need a box spring. Number two, reinforced metal frame. Like a collapsible metal frame, but with additional metal supports across it, this type of frame does not need a box spring. Number three, a solid platform bed frame. This type of frame has a solid surface, so does not need a box spring. Number four, a slatted platform bed frame. This type of frame has a series of close together slats across its surface, so does not need a box spring. And finally, the adjustable bed frame. Because this type of frame can move around and change positions, it will not work with a box spring. Long story short, if you have a modern bed frame with internal support slats or beams, you don't need a box spring. However, if you want to add a little extra height to your bed, you are more than welcome to put a box spring on any of these bed frames, except for the adjustable one. And when it comes specifically to bed in a box mattresses, you do not need to put them directly on a box spring. All of the frames listed above, save the collapsible metal one, are designed to provide your new bed in a box mattress with all the support that it needs. But again, if you simply want your bed to be taller, you are more than welcome to place your bed in a box mattress right on top of a box spring. Now, one situation in which you may want to still use a box spring is if you'd like to ditch the bed frame altogether and place your mattress directly on the floor. Though there's nothing technically wrong with placing your mattress on the floor itself, there are a few reasons why you may want to consider placing it on a box spring first. Number one, it will make it much easier to get in and out of bed. And if you're an older sleeper, having to crouch down before going to sleep every night may not be the healthiest thing for you. Number two, it will make your sleeping experience way more hygienic. When the mattress is directly on the ground, it's more susceptible to dust, dirt, allergens, and bed bugs. So placing it on a box spring will put some distance between you and these pesky irritants. And number three, putting your mattress right on the floor may avoid your warranty. Some mattress warranties stipulate that a mattress must be on a box spring or platform bed frame. So make sure to read the fine print before making any decisions. To help clarify this issue even more, I'm going to answer some of the most frequently asked questions we get about box springs here at Sleepopolis. Alright, so number one, what is the point of a box spring? 
Well, the main point of a box spring is to raise the profile or height of your mattress. In some cases, it can also add extra support to the overall bed structure. Number two, is a box spring necessary? In most cases, no, a box spring is not necessary. However, if you're using a traditional bed frame without internal support or want to place your mattress directly on the floor, it may be necessary. Number three, does a box spring make a bed more comfortable? A box spring can increase the longevity and durability of a mattress, but it doesn't necessarily make it any more comfortable. If you don't like your mattress on its own, placing it on top of a box spring isn't gonna drastically change its feel. Well folks, that about does it for this video into the crazy world of box springs. For more sleep related content and resources, make sure to go to sleepopolis.com and to subscribe to the Sleepopolis YouTube channel. Well, until next time, happy dreaming.